right, so as you may have gathered from the beginner tutorial you saw, that these are your controls here, and they kind of have a little dot in the middle that is sort of acts like a joystick. Going left and right on this one will turn the drone in place. That is up, that is down, and this one over here on the other side, you've got your forward and reverse, and left and right. Now to get the drone started up here in this corner, click on that guy, and it's got a thing, take off, and it says slide to take off. I'm not going to do it this very minute, you'll see a demonstration, but you would put your finger on this button, slide it there, the drone would come to life, and it would take off into the air, and then you would be able to use these buttons here to control it. Now we're not going to do this in the classroom, unless your teacher specifically tells you, because the noise of the drone and just a little thing flying around in room 200 would probably distract most of your classmates. Uh, for now, we're going to take it out into the hallway. And uh, once again, your job number one is to make sure that you're not being a nuisance, distracting other classes. You know, if your drone is flying into Mrs. Fuchs' room while she's doing her lectures, uh, that would be a good way to get your drone privileges taken away. All right? So let's go take a look out in the hallway what it's like to launch this guy. One. All right, so here we are in the front foyer, kind of by the office, which again should encourage you not to get into too much mischief, all right? One thing you should notice about the drone that's important when you're using the iPad to operate it is you kind of need to be facing the same direction as the drone, or it gets very confusing. I have the camera right here facing towards the, the uh, front doors of the school, and on my iPad, you can see that's what the drone is seeing as well. In fact, if I move my foot over here, I bet you'll see my foot tapping up and down. All right? So you want to orient your drone and yourself to the drone. Uh, otherwise, you are disoriented, which, as you know, disoriented means you're confused and, uh, you know, just not in a good place. All right? So that thing I showed you before about launching the drone, I push the takeoff button and I slide the takeoff. Look at that. And now you can see, since it's floating in the air, it's got me and Mr. Benson. Here, I'll wave, because it's still facing towards those front doors. I'm going to use the controls to rotate it. And turn it around. It's kind of hovering in place. There's the hallway. I have to raise it up a little bit. Hello, and I can keep going in this direction, or I can circle back. And once again, that drone has not really moved much from its original position. All right, and I can go down, probably all the way down to the ground, or down close to it. The drone should be set so it cannot go any higher. Because it should be in settings that it can't go any higher than two meters, meters, which means that you won't get it stuck on the ceiling in any of the, uh, you know, uh, fire sprinkler heads or anything like that. All right. So right now, so I don't run this thing into Mr. Benson, I'm going to go back. I'm just going to back up a little bit. Right. Again, this is a part where you got to get used to being oriented the same way as the drone while you're looking at the screen. I can also fly side to side with the camera still facing that way. And if I want to go down the hallway toward room 200, I need to rotate. And now if I'm smart, I'm going to get my body behind the drone. And now I'm looking down this hallway the same way the drone is headed. Line it right up on those lines that are conveniently down the hallway. I'm losing my altitude there. Maybe my battery's getting a little weak. Bring it back out into this hallway. And bring it back 
to the air. And one thing I haven't shown yet is the ability to take a picture or a video. So just for an experiment, I'm going to click the video button. Not liking that. There it is. Recording now. I'll move it forward a little bit. And again, overall, our main concern is safety. We want to keep this thing moving nice and slow, getting used to the controls, up and down, backwards and forwards. The propellers do have those little bumper guards on them, but I would say that I wouldn't trust them. But it's up to you to fly in a safe and responsible way. All right, so I'm going to hit the stop button on this video. Maybe I'll be able to show you my results from that as well. Can you land that bad boy? Now I'm going to land it. Once again, I'm going to push that same button. And there's a button that says tap to land. And when it hits the ground, it turns off, and you can see that the camera is still activated. If I put my shoe in front of there, you can see my foot. So until I turn that off, the Bluetooth connection still makes the camera work. I guess I could pick this up with my hand and turn it around, look at myself, look at the iPad. That's kind of weird. And so on. All right. So again, just a little bit of an introduction. What we would want you to do is take off, hover, rotate left, rotate right, go up and down a little bit without hitting the ceiling fly a little bit forward, fly a little bit backwards, and take some video demonstrating that you've done this. All right, that would be your first task with the drone.